Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Do you see this? Oh, happy day, because we get to shoot the Maverick Tactical Level 4 Polyethylene Silicone Carbide Plate. Um, this plate is 88 ounces. It's an inch thick. It's rated for up to three 30 caliber armor piercing rounds traveling at 2,800 feet per second at 42 feet. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna load this bad boy up, slap it into this uh, tier tactical plate carrier, gonna throw it on the rubber dummy and start the shooty shooty. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna test it with is the 130 grain solid copper 6.5 TY round for force guard munitions out of this Daniel Defense uh, DD5 V5. Wanted to try to hit this really, really hard right out the gate and see what's gonna happen, so. Just a tad high, but look, it caught it. And it's still there. Next, we've got the 168 grain TUI around from Fort Scott Munition out of this Steyr. Seen a Steyr Scout? You've never played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Bloop. Holy mackerel. That's a second chance at life right there. So we've got a 6.5 TUI round, a 308 TUI round. Now we're gonna go to a 762 by 39 TUI round. Same kind of deal. And this plate is really light too. That's something else I noticed. NATO green tip 62 grain armor piercing round out of this 16 inch Tavor. Put it just right on the middle, hide over bore. I put it right there, and that's where the impact was. It's going on with hide over bore today, and it stopped it! Oh! <laughs> Stop! Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Do you see this? What's going on right now? 762 by 39, and then we stacked a 5.56 armor piercing round right on top of it. It didn't go through. I, we're kind of sitting here, kind of scratching our heads because that's darn near on top of the same. Just incredible, <laughs> just whatever. A 115 grain TUI through this pain break. This is my primary kind of bad things are happening gun. Put it. No penetration. All right, we got the 115 grain chaos round from Gride Hard Ammunition. That didn't sound like a 115. I'm pretty sure I grabbed the right bullet, but that didn't sound like a 115 grain. That sounded like a subsonic all day. Oh my gosh. It hit it and just nada. I rejected. So I've got a Federal uh, Sabbath Slug, two and three quarters. We're gonna do two of those, and we're gonna do a double lot buck round as well. On top of the uh, 300 blackout round. Now we're starting to get ridiculous now. We're here at uh, self-defense distance. Look at that abyss. You know, so we just got fed up of nothing going through. So we just shot it with a whole bunch of 5.56 green tip. Oh, and we're starting to come through it now. Do you see? It's not indestructible, but you know, it's certainly compromised. Now I can tear it open and see what we can find.
So obviously not a body armor expert, but I love shooting these types of things. It's so much fun. So I want to say thank you to Maverick Tactical for sending out their level four plate. They also sent me a level three A kind of uh, multi-curve uh, chest plate as well. Kind of interested to shoot that. But um, you know, there's a lot of reading, a lot of research that you can do before you purchase body armor and, and understanding exactly what you're getting. You can do your reading and research. There's ample amount of information out there. So I encourage you to do that before you make a purchase. But a lot of times people want to ask me, Barrett, like, uh, is this is this something that I should invest in? In a world where bullets are exchanged, this is a piece of life-saving equipment. So for military, law enforcement, civilians, um, yeah, this seems like it's holding up very nicely and seems like it's doing what it's supposed to do. But do your research, do your due diligence, and uh, make an informed purchase and not an impulse buy. Uh, guys, Truex is here saying, hold fast, stay the course.